Hey there YouTube. Right, I just thought I wanted to share this because guess what? I fixed it. Hey, <laughs> I am so proud of myself. And I'll tell you what I did was I took these out again and I started measuring. I'd gone through components. I decided that maybe it was well. Look, I'm not a professional at this. Like you all know that anyway. And um. And I should have probably tested it uh, without those being pressed against those pots. But um, I know there's still like a couple of wires hanging off the earth, hanging off, and those wires aren't connected up, and that um, heat sensor here isn't connected. But that doesn't matter. And what it was was I don't know if you can see where that big chunky capacitor is, just down there. There's a resistor. And that resistor there, and the one just above it, I really hope you can see it, but that resistor, it's this um, transistor down here, this MOSFET, it's just to the right of there, there's a little resistor, and it was reading um, between 8 and 12 mega ohms. But the colour banding on it said it was supposed to be 47 ohms. And the one right next to it has got the same colour banding, uh, and that is that is just in front of that transistor, uh, that MOSFET down there. There's another resistor, and that's got the same colour banding, and that was coming up to 47 ohms. So I thought, okay, that seems a little bit simple. And going listening to the sound, remember what the sound is like, pop, and it almost did sound like it was it was in the, you know in this sort of area anyway. So what I've done basically is I've changed the resistor. Let me just uh, plug this in. I put a 47 ohm resistor in there. I'm just going to move that out of the way just so it doesn't do anything silly. That's uh, so what we got there. And if I start turning up the old air, uh, look at that. Look at that. I got my power supply back again. Woohoo! Current control works. Not quite sure how sensitive that is or isn't. Uh, if I just put that up there and turn that back off a little bit. Yeah, because I'm not turning it down all the way, so that seems to be working alright. But yeah, I've now, it seems. At least this is uh, working. Let me just stick a meter in here actually and make sure I have actually got an output. Let's just turn that off. And um, let me just connect to the meter. Okay, so I've got those connected. Let's turn this baby back on. And give it some voltage. It seems to be making a bit of a weird noise when it comes to that fan going round, but it says 13.2 volts there, 13.6, and over there on that meter. It also says 13.7, which I suppose may not be too far because we don't get to see that could be on 6.9, couldn't it? If I just, oh look, I just twitched that very slightly to 7, and we're still on 7 on the meter over there. I don't know if you can see that. So, but yeah, I've not tried it with a load or anything yet. Maybe I should stick a load onto it. I probably won't put my inductor coil onto it low straight away. And over on the meter there, 31.5 volts and 31.5 volts here. 31.6. We'll give it that. There's a little bit of fluctuation there, though. I'm not quite sure if that's good or bad, but it is definitely a step in the right direction. Definitely a step in the right direction. I could be cruel to it now, couldn't I? I could put my. Um, my um, light bulb blowed on there, but I think I'm going to put something a bit gentler on, and we're going to have a look at it in a second. Okay, so I'll just put this, um, this LED on and we'll see if we can get it to light up a little bit. Okay, we're current limited, don't really want that to shoot up too high. There we go.
that transformer in there is making pretty shocking noise. That's at 12.4 volts, 300 milliamp. disconnect that and I know that's, that is making a bit of a noise and maybe I need to look into that a little bit more but there's a barcode on there so if I did need to replace it or anything I'm not sure I do but, mm. but it works it's we've got I've got an output it was a bit noisy before I must admit it used to make a bit of a noise and maybe it's because I got the case off with it on um, but it would I would prefer if it didn't really make that sort of noise if anybody knows if that's normal or not that would be great to know um, but just at this stage of the game I'm quite happy that I've got um, some output on it now which I didn't have before I thought this was uh, going to be something that I was just going to have to leave for quite a while before I could get my head around how to, how to fix it but I figured out the other day that I ought to go through it component by component. I looked at all the chips and decided that that, that was probably not going to be the problem because I got output and things working like that. I, I, I Not output, I mean a display and that sort of stuff worked. But, you know, I don't really like um, playing too much with the high voltage side because, you know, because it's high voltage side. So yeah, so I share that that I've managed to get some life out of that, and it may um, end up being back on the on the bench as a working as a working power supply. So if you watched that this far, cheers for watching, guys, and I'll get back to you soon. Bye.